Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am gonna just do a little craft with me. I was gonna craft anyway, so I turned on the camera. And I just wanna say hi and hugs to Lucy, Kathy, Susan, and Amanda. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for your comments. Now yesterday we did these couple little collage pieces and I've sewn around them so I promised I would show them. This one just a straight stitch so see now there's a little pocket right there. So that one and that one has my little French ephemera from my shop in it. And then this one has Carrie the Crafter and uh, Rachel Sarah Crafts and Shabby Dabby Doodah on it. The back is um, Carrie the Crafter too. So um, this one I did a little zigzag and then I didn't want to go through that bird. So I just did some straight stitch. So I feel like the stitching, it really does add a lot to these cards. So I, I love doing it. So I wanted to show you those. I'm going to set those aside and I've got, um, I've got my jelly print journal. Oh, so I want to play with it a little bit today and, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm filming ahead of day cause we have to go get Jimmy Joe tomorrow. So we'll be driving all day tomorrow, driving to my daughter's, getting Jim and Joe and bringing them back. So, um, so yeah, so here's my fun journal. Oh my gosh. I so love it. It's so fun. Okay. So we have this that we can put on. Maybe we'll do that first. And then all manner of playing. I have no idea what we're gonna, else we're gonna do, but we're gonna we're gonna do some playing. Um, maybe what I'll do is grab a pencil and just give this a little mark so I so I do it the right height. Yeah, so I didn't exactly, oh, I still left my book weight over on the other table. Hang on a minute, guys. I'm going to go get my, my book weight. I had it sitting on another journal that I'm doing, and so I... And that is across the room because I cleaned off my desk. So there you go. That is a that is a needed supply. And they're available on my on my website too if you if you need yourself one. What could I do with that? Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea for that. So what we want to do basically is just put glue here in here and then wrap that around but isn't that side so pretty too yeah sometimes it's hard <laughs> sometimes it's hard to hide part of it you know so yeah but we're gonna do it because I want this to be a tuck had a question in the comments the other day about from a, a new person what's a tuck and a tuck just indicates that it's glued on one or two sides as opposed to a pocket that's glued on three sides. That's my definition anyway. So that in here. And then we do our best to get it around the page without smearing the glue where we don't want it to go, right? Okay, so I think this might be easiest if I go this way. Ah. Easiest, I didn't say easy. <laughs> Get that down in the, in the fold. Okay, okay, we did, a, we did a decent job on that. That's good. So that can flip open. Oh, look, we we need to we need to glue this side that we cut, don't we? It let me know it did. 
Yeah, so basically I've spent this day kind of trying to catch up a little bit, trying to get ahead so we can go get Jimmy Joe and um, got some things ready for Etsy, some things on Etsy. Yeah, it's been a busy day, but it's been a good day. Okay, so now what do we want? Did I kind of decided that these two could be pockets, didn't I? I do like this one as a pocket for sure. Kind of. <laughs> I can't help it, I pet them. Um, I just was, I just was seeing this piece. This is just a, a book page piece and I love that. I might make that just a big giant pocket. I don't know, you can tell I have absolutely no plan for this. All the the only plan is I want to kind of showcase some of my some of my pretty jelly prints. I think I might like to do a little stenciling up here. And that is circles. So what what do I have that would be good? I know I have others in my little um, bin over there, but I must have something Tim Holtz either work. Thought I had a thought I had like a um, almost like a what do you call it? Bubble wrap one. Thought I did. This one has circles. Let's use it. I don't think I've ever used it. Okay. Just set that there for now. Scooch it over. I don't want to use yellow. Oh, now that I've moved all my um, distress inks are way far away, that's not going to work. I'm waiting for some, um, I ordered some little cases for the distress inks, but they won't be out for a while, I guess, or something. I haven't. I pre-ordered them. And do you think I can remember where? No. <laughs> so I hope they come at some point. And then I'll get them over here closer to where I'm working. Well, that's kind of fun, isn't it? This is not particularly straight along there, but I don't particularly care. <laughs> so how's that? And I don't love the back. The back is just kind of a wipe off page. So that's just fine to have that like that. I'm going to put it on like a pocket. And I was wondering, I thought I had some larger... Um, index cards that might work in the pocket. I don't know. We're just, we're just going to see how this little journal turns out. I'm just going to be happy to have a jelly print journal. Yes, I do. So let me get those. So these are the ones I have. Those two fairly plain. This one, these two not plain but a similar color. We've got 
plastic out. Okay. Okay, so they're still journaling then on that page because we have a whole big old journal card. Okay, well, that was fun. That was fun. So this little piece that I um, took off of there, my thought was, let me grab a punch here. Yep. My thought was to make like, you have to unlock it first. It works so much better when it's unlocked. <laughs> And my thought was, what if we made them into kind of like little tickets? I don't know. Why aren't you cutting? Because... I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't ask me. Don't know. <laughs> Just making a little ticky. <laughs> little ticket. Okay. This one. For I don't know what. Oh yeah, I thought this one was two widths. Or two thicknesses, both of them are. I don't know. I just didn't want to waste the print. Okay, let's see what else we can play with here. Okay my stencil away um you know I have the big old flowers and I was thinking those would be fun to to kind of play with in here um and I've been gonna do a video on how to make them if I can remember but I forgot about that I need to leave them out so I remember I think wherever they are oh they fell out of there Sack or were taken out of their sack, one or the other. That was kind of fun. Nope. Nope. I love that one. That is kind of nice there, isn't it? Okay, I like that one. I like that one. I think I like this one. I just, this, I love this one. And so, and it has a ton of doodling on it. So, I think I'm going to put that there because this this journal's for me so I should be using things I love in it right Wish that one would bend the other way a bit there we go okay so I think I'll put glue kind of want it like that I hear voices. Hmm. There's somebody upstairs, but. Oh, I think it's my friend Catherine. She probably brought me flowers or something. Bless her heart. She's so sweet. Okay. So, concentrate, Gail. You're filming right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's really nice. She's just a really, really good friend. 
She's so supportive and she's always there. She's just a sweetheart. Okay, so I'm just gonna just gonna glue down the bottom petals so the other ones can be kind of flippy floppy. Okay, that's really fun. That's really fun. I feel like I need something to sort of define that top edge a little bit. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Well, now we're on a roll, aren't we? So I'm just going to glue that on there. Yeah, sorry I got quiet there. I could hear voices upstairs. And I, at first I thought my husband was on the phone and then I realized there was another real person. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, good girlfriends are important for women, I think. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Oh. So fun, so fun. I was wondering about incorporating some of my more neutral digitals in with some of um, some of the jelly prints too. Okay, focus scale, focus. So this has writing that I don't like. So I need to put something down this side. I don't care if I cut that one up, I don't think. So what I'm thinking is just, I'm thinking of putting a pocket down that side. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I keep looking for my cutter where I used to have it. And I had it on the floor and I was always knocking it over. So I moved it and now I keep looking for it where it used to be and it's not there. It's over on the side now. Okay, I'm just gonna cut off these white edges. And then I think I'll cut this about it doesn't have to be super super th thick because okay. So this is a really tough piece of paper, which is nice. So where's my little punch? I'll do that. Do that just right here. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue this on three sides and that will cover up that little bit. Because I, um, I use a lot of recycled paper doing jelly prints. Um, which this pocket is as well. This is a brochure that I jelly printed over the top. And it, it does give it a whole nother layer. Like you can see a few words through there. So that's kind of, it's kind of fun to do. Okay, so I've got a pocket there covering up. Probably should have done some stenciling, huh? Because, yeah, some of them are a little white on the, on the side, but that's okay. Let's see, what do I have that's just, this one's just on top. Let's just do this down the side a little bit. Oop right there. I have my I have my stencils on 
um, a ring. Really, I should have my brush to do this, but I'd have to turn around. <laughs> Way too much work to turn around. So I'm just going to give it a little something going on. CED going to be down here. There we go. There, that's kind of fun, isn't it? All right, so now we can tuck something in there if we wanted to. What do I have here in my little basket? Oh, ephemera. Got these big tags. Any of those. Love that one. Love this one. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Might need a Tim Holtz person on it or something because I love how this one turned out. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna get my Tim Holtz people. Since it's a big tag, I might be able to use one of the large ones, which, oh my gosh, look at this sweet little girl. I think she needs to be, oh, it's, a, it's two children. Ugh. How cute are they? They're cute. They also love this little boy. Come here, you. He looks like he's sitting on something, though he's better for sitting on something. Oh, this little girl's sweet. Sorry, I'm not like standing on my head trying to get down in there. She's sweet. Because what I'm thinking is, I'm also thinking about putting one of these labels from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Like it number three and she's a little blonde she, and my third daughter or my third child second daughter was a blonde so that's you Joni right there okay that made up my mind um I'm deciding if she needs something in back of her which I think she kind of does So what if we put a little of this behind her? I don't want to cover up the jelly print too much either though. Let's see, maybe. Yep, 
going to cut that a little bit. And then I want another piece of lace going down, going across there. Something just out of my box, maybe. Out of my little scrappy box, I have this piece of fabric. That's fine, but I don't love it, pieces. blue. No. That could be fun there. And then like a little piece of coffee dyed something or another. this muslin yeah I think that is fine okay so let's get the lace and stuff on there Art glitter glue's getting low. I need to refill it. I have a big bottle to refill from. And this, pull off a few strings. And have them stick forever more to my fingers. Okay. Now we'll glue our little girl on. Our little Joni Marie. Gosh, she's so cute. Oh, I kind of like that too. Why not? So this is on sticky paper, but I think I'll give it a little bit of glue too, just because it's going to be on fabric. Okay. There we go. There we go. So oh, cute. What do we have for putting on as a topper? Do I have anything in here? Ooh, this is fun. I love these things with the different colors and the it's got some of the colors from the jelly prints, so I think I'm gonna go for it. And I do like to use out of that bucket because I've been using out of it for <laughs> years and I, I can never get it kind of all gone, but okay, 
I want to see the numbers though. There we go. Well, that's fun. That's fun. Let's do a little. I should have done this prior to getting so crazy, but I think I want like a book page pocket and then to decorate it with the uh, jelly prints. I think I want something like that. Okay, I love her. Don't know if I want to use it in there though. Maybe in a tuck spot so that I can tuck it. Well, I could go, could go there. That's it. This I want to put on as a tuck spot too, though. And then have it flip down for journaling space. Oh, I could decorate that, couldn't I? Oh, maybe we'll put this on the back of the sack. Let's do that. And I'll just glue it here and here, and then this will flip down. Okay. Hopefully it will stick just fine to this glassine. Should. Okay. I also want to do a video on how I use my journals because I want to show how I how I like to use things like like this page and yeah, and this and, you know, the different ways we decorate, but then it's kind of the wrong colors, isn't it? Oh, and I have this pocket too. It's a flip. So I've got what? I've got like two three things in the front, four, and I have five. <laughs> so I better put this in the back. All that to say, looks, looking like it. What if I put it on the phone page? And then this flips up for journaling right there. Yep. And then we could put something in it that could be journaled on two. Oops. Those are little corners like little holes. <clears throat> that on right there. decorate this little flip a little bit too, couldn't we? Yeah, and then that will go on there. Um, oops. Things I was look I was just looking at that because the colors were kind of similar. I think I might put that in there. I just love that little card. I need to put something on the back for journaling, don't I? Journaling space. I could probably use this part of. I think I could use that part of my. Um, French ephemera digital and just make use of that. Okay, 
okay so probably one in between the stitching kind of so really just right up to the writing and that's a great piece for another thing um i'm gonna take off this too because i want to be able to journal on that okay I need to put a little something in the pocket of the tag, don't I? Okay. What could I put in the pocket? Um, I don't know. Just a little... Maybe even just a little, some sort of little um, coffee dye tag or something. Yeah, I need to, I need to work on what I have right at hand because I feel like, I feel like there's some things I'd like to grab that I can't. <laughs> okay, but that's good. That's good start. And a couple th other things in here. What are the other? Journal cards like? Are there any that are that similar colors? Not really. Not really. Oh, there's a little, there's a little flippy do too. With just a little piece of paper in it. That'd be fun too. And there's that pocket. Okay. Love this print so much. Would this look like a cross from it? That'd be cute, wouldn't it? When you do that. Decide to what to put in there. Would she be good in there? She's kind of good in there, isn't she? And then one of my faves here. Might be nice. Let's see. Is this one more? I don't want to do anything to cover this up. I think I'm going to just leave it as it is. So what do we want to put for a topper on this one? Once again, is there anything in here? That would have been good, but it's just a little piece, a little piece. Little pieces. What's this? What's this? That is some sorry silk. Oh, and I also have this, which is the same as that. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll add a little bit of Cheese cloth, and then they'll be they'll be topped to the same, so that kind of gives them a little bit of a fun thing to tie them together, right? Now 
We've been closely watching the news lately because of the coronavirus situation and the son and son-in-law that travel for work and it's just a very scary thing, isn't it? My hope is that it just goes away as soon as spring is sprung. There, that gives it a little decoration. I'm sorry if I was off screen for part of that. That gives it a little decoration and yet um, ties it into this one. So I'm going to tuck those two in here. Okay, so let's see what else do we have in our box of goodies here. We have this little one that could go in. Ooh, I wonder if that would fit in that one tag. Let's look at that. Oh, we have this pocket and this pocket. And then a bunch of envelopes. Bunches and bunches of envelopes. Okay. Ooh, I love that one too. Yeah, so we have all these little ones. Good. So we have two things there. So I'm definitely going to put this in the back, even though we've got that one. Let's see. Got that there. How about if we put it right here? Um, hmm, stencil, I guess. Yeah, we can stencil. Okay, um, let me grab my brush this time. Let's see, what time is it? 42. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, let's see. I like this one a whole lot. It's flowers, but, you know, we can have flowers with jelly prints. That's okay. There's no rules. Oh, I need to put my art glitter glue pin in. That's a rule. Put your art glue glitter glue pin and in there as soon as you, pin in there as soon as you use the glue that's a definite rule or you will be sorry <laughs> yeah just a little something to kind of tie it more into the um the page over there that's coffee dyed you know because this is so Super white paper. Okay. Oh, yeah, isn't that nice? Okay, I can tell. Try and get a few over here too. Yeah, it's just a such a Pretty stencil. I'm not sure what this one's called. Of course, I've long gone is the packaging, but it's Tim Holtz. <laughs> so you can always look for him with a search. 
Now if I do that, yep, my lines are right side up and everything. Okay, just go ahead and glue that down. towards the front a little more. Oh dear, look at that. I need to cover that completely up with a piece of paper. Yep. I'm going to have to do that because just too, too much writing there. Okay. Let's just let me do it. Put that over there. Cut it. She's got a glorious mess going here, and it's so much fun. Okay. This guy's just getting chopped to bits, isn't he? And I don't know. Do I want to make it a pocket? Could give it a small clip here and make it a pocket. Because why not? If we don't use it as a pocket, that doesn't matter. Okay. And it takes less glue that way. <laughs> Only three sides instead of covering up the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I found that to cover up. I could put a big index card or something in there. Thanks for all the suggestions to make my um, jelly prints into digitals. I think I will do that with some, some favorites and make a few kits in, of jelly prints here one of these days. Okay, so now we have a pocket there. Um, I was thinking of perhaps putting that on as a tuck there. And then, I don't know where else. Maybe there. Maybe that one would be good there. Okay. Oh, it's right on the same page. <laughs> so right there, but we're going to want a stencil. And you'll notice I'm kind of doing different stencils all the time. But that's kind of fun too. How about do a little uh, a damask one here. I'm not jiggling yet too, too much. We're going to put this over to the side, then we need to kind of go down by the spine a little bit. Okay. Alrighty then. We did that. Great. It's kind of fun that I had this much stuff already made. I mean, this stuff I've had made since I did the journal that, you know, I sadly let go. I 
and we can tuck behind. We've got this, we've got this little tucky-do here that could fit one of these tickets. Okay, and then this one we'll stencil and do the same thing on. We'll put it like here. And there's a pocket there, there's a pocket there. Okay, what do we want to use for, how about the chicken wire? Honeycomb make that. Not so much chicken wire as bee wire. <laughs> Looks like chicken wire. Oh, these brushes are so great for doing this because they don't wreck your stencil and they just give you a little bit of a light coating. It's just awesome. bit down here. Okay. And we'll glue that one in. Then we'll do like a little flip through and see where we're at. We have that one card to put in that one tag too. Okay, so we're going to go down here. And here. Right there on the corner. All right. Well, we made some progress today, didn't we? And tomorrow I'll just be in the car all day, so I'll probably need to take some fussy cutting or something, won't I? Maybe I can fussy cut out all of those numbers from Shabby Dubby, from Tina. Okay, so back here, there it is. So what I was wondering is if this little card would go in there. It does, but I don't like it. <laughs> we'll see if that fits somewhere else as we're thumbing through. Okay, so front. Oh, I just love the feel of that. And then definitely used to to do something on there. I've got this that we need to make something for. Got a tuck here to make something for. We could do a strip of jelly print on there, which I think we'll do. There's this pocket that needs big old something in it, probably tags. Like maybe that tag. I like that. Okay. Same on this side. We need a tag. Oh, love this one. I don't know, that might blend in too much, but I love it. I do love that one, but I also love this one. like this one better. I'm going to go there with that one. Need something in there. I need to tuck something in there. That cute little card or tag. Nope. I mean it could go in here. That's a possibility. Need something in there. Got this page done. Gonna need something in there. Something in there. There it is. That's where we'll put that. Could do something there if we wanted. I 
another pocket. This needs more in it. What if we, what if we put this in there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's nice. Got that with its couple. Something there. And that's the last page. So we made a little bit of progress. So it's starting to get a little rounder. Look at my little girl. She just wants to poke her little skirt out. <laughs> so we're not done. We're not done working on this. Um, I'm going to use this tag just as it is and not do anything to it. I really love this tag. Could do that. Yep. What's so fun about using this stuff up is I'm going to need to um, make some more. Darn it. Going to have to make some more. Like some of these big envelopes could go certain places too. So anyway, we'll play some more another day, but we got a few things done. So thanks so much everybody for watching. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.